first time he got crabs. <laughs> well, you know, enough about erections and stuff. Uh, so, hi everyone. We're back on on Twitch and YouTube and all the other places that we go. Mm. Uh, hi. Welcome to Roll for K. And we hope everybody's okay from from the last session. Uh, mm. uh, Taco decided to break the fucking internet. Uh, nah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You shut up. I know you've seen the comments. You destroyed everybody. That's Before fine. we really get started, I wanted to show something off. Misty Mountain Gaming? Yeah. Gave this fucking journal, and it's like actual cow hide <gasps> leather. And it, mm. oh, it feels so good. It smells so good. Um, and they gave me more stuff. Um, dice that are probably going to continue to roll like shit because it's me and not because it's the dice. Um, and, and then gave me a dice box too. And it's so pretty. Look, it's so full of dice. <laughs> um, Beautiful. Sorry, I'm really excited about it. So I wanted to show that off right away. Uh, but okay. we can go ahead and uh, just just kind of just kind of jump right in and, and have some fun tonight. Uh, Autumn, do you have the recap? I absolutely do. Since everybody wants to just be sad again. We yeah. should say quickly, there will be giveaways for Misty Mountain Gaming oh, yeah. gift cards at mm -hmm. the end of the stream. So you need to be live in uh, Tennis Junior 93's Twitch chat to take part of those giveaways. You can also use Coupon code CAKE to save 15% off your purchases at Misty Mountain Gaming, and that also supports the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, and Taco's giving away some dragon sat sex. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> dragon sex, yeah. So, anyway, be sure to be over on Tennis Junior 93's Twitch to be a part of those giveaways. Yes. I'm gonna, you I'm gonna be active in chat, and, and when we pull your name, you have to say that you're here. You have to have your whispers open so we can get that stuff to you as quickly as possible. I'm going to start sewing custom leather dice bags and call them dragon sacks. Yes. Do it. Uh -oh. I, all right. That's so, I, you sure. You know what? That's next. Anyway. Put a, put a seam right down the middle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Say, like, sew the seam, but do it with, like, nice stitching. The very, first on this. Giveaway, the very first dragon sack. <laughs> All right. We can, we can collab on this because I've already got something in the works. Ooh. Uh, they're ooh. called nut sacks. Okay, but they're not like nuts. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a squirrel and an acorn. I'll, I'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk about nut sacks <laughs> later. Uh, <laughs> I do. I do love a nut sack. But you know what I like more than nut sacks? Recaps. Recaps. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Great what? segue. <laughs> Now last on episode four. Having realized that their paladin had gone inexplicably missing, our company of adventurers attempted to track him through the city before discovering that he had teleported away without explanation. The Fey Lord Reynard then introduced them to the Pro Pro Procyon. Wow, when did who wrote this? Who used big words? Fucking cap. Procyon musician Bartolomew who joined their group as they agreed to retrieve an artifact capable of nullifying the abilities of their mutual nemesis from the horde of a blue dragon lairing in the Sword Mountains. During the night, the group's druid was lured from her room in her sleep by their arcane adversary, who questioned her about the team's mission before vanishing again, and the changeling woke the next morning to discover that the group's barbarian had embedded the remaining shards of the mysterious gem into the flesh of his hands in an attempt to amplify his strength. The group then visited an apothecary to acquire three potions of lightning resistance as well as other supplies, after which their fighter obtained a magically enhanced longbow. The party ventured northwestward along the high road, making an early camp that afternoon to weather a violent thunderstorm. And they were visited again that evening by Reynard, who persuaded the group to discuss their harrowing histories with the malevolent mage who had taken so much from them all. Waking the next morning, they continued toward the mountain, encountering a drow sorcerer 
a shadow blade, and a priestess of Loth that the party's wizard immediately recognized from her former house in the Underdark. The team attacked as the Deep Elves attempted to capture the wizard, who was briefly incapacitated during the fight before her assailants were defeated and devoured within the caustic waters of the swamp, from which they did not emerge. And that is where we pick up. Um, Rattles, you have finished your uh, healing. Your, I believe you did a prayer of healing. Mm-hmm. I remember right. Um, so most everybody is back up and, and no longer on death's door. Um, real quick, uh, uh, Rattles, since you were kind of there with Alexia, go ahead and give me a medicine check, please. Medicine check? Mm-hmm. Where do I find that? Uh, in your in your skills, oh. the big long box. Yeah, there I you see go. It. Oh, 20. there we go. Twenty. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> you take a look at the stab wound in their back where the uh, shadow blade got them. Um, taking a look at it, you can see that the wound did heal up. However, there is still a pretty nasty scar there, which your healing usually fixes. Um, and it's it's kind of got this black kind of veiny look to it around the scar. All right. I'm going to cast and, Lesser Restoration on it. Okay. And see if that does anything mm-hmm. special. Currently, Valexia, you... You can feel a little twinge of pain back there. Like, you're very aware you got stabbed very recently. Um, (laughs) You can feel him cast a a little extra magic. Um, The the stinging pain of it does lessen, but you notice it's Mm. still there. Uh, Mm. Rattles, the black veins do kind of shrink a bit, but they are still there. Hmm. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, who? Uh, the rest of you, um, I believe there there was talks about uh, going fishing. Who wants to try it? Oh. Brooke will peer into the water. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation check. <laughs> I won't be the only one looking at <laughs> That was, uh... Nine. Nine? I'll uh, cast Guidance eight. on him as he's looking in the water. Oh, fair enough. Add a d4. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's pretty brackish water. Um, how's that for a big word? I'm a little proud of that one. Anyway, um, sorry. Uh, it's, the, the water is very dark. You can see some small things moving around inside there, uh, and you quickly get the memory of the leech-type things that were gnawing on you earlier. Gross. Uh, those, but, those sucky worms are bad. Are those technically animals? Possibly. (laughs) Could I technically try to just ask them to bring us stuff since I fed them? You certainly can. Neutral options first. All right. We're going to look. We're going to try for the neutral shit first. uh, That's a decision. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, okay. So. Rattles. Yes. Hear me hear me out. What if what if I just heated you up a little bit? You know what I'm saying? I made you real hot. And then utilizing the air that the heat would have caused around your metal, you go and get the stuff out of the water. Will it damage my cake? I mean, <laughs> Technically, you have a new one, and that had to be done with heat. Hmm. I'm willing to try. I cast Locate Object 
and uh, look at specifically i want the uh sword that stabbed valencia specifically the shadow blade okay yes you feel it you cool. can okay. feel its, its direction is there any way and to... is it far Shadow away? Blade? Uh, no, it is definitely like w within uh, within fifty feet. Okay. I uh, turn to Taco and say, "Would you mind yeeting a queef missile at me, so I don't <laughs> go into the depths oh, untethered?" Uh, I believe Ivy has the queef missile now. I now have the queef missile. <laughs> Had a girl. Well, then I turn back. Had a girl. <laughs> D and D, everybody, <laughs> where, we, I, where we tear people's emotions apart, and when then we say queef missile. Regular rope queef missile. I look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna queef you so hard. Just give me a second. <laughs> um, so, I'm feeling better. <laughs> so. Uh, all right, so how do I need to actually use this? Because I have not yet used this. Yeah, so it, it essentially would just be rolling an attack roll, but he's holding still, so you wouldn't have to. Um, okay. So you pull it out, and you say yes. the magic word. It wraps around his waist. <laughs> Motherfucking queen missile. <laughs> all right. This rope um, smells funny. Okay. I've got a hold lot on, of hold on. <laughs> Out of character. Wouldn't heating the metal cause the rope to break? Or is it magical? The, or usually, overcoming? yes, but this is a magical whip. So, good good nice. question. Good question. Completely fair. Have, that yeah. is something I would have done if it was a regular rope. Yes. I would have absolutely done that. All right, let's try. <laughs> All right. All right. Where, uh, so, where's everybody standing around here? So, hopefully. So, we're assuming we've walked back. Well, to yeah, we'll group yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before you go in there, Rattles, uh, Bartholomew, did you want to do any inspiration or anything before they go in there? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. You're okay. Rattles. Oh, and I'm gonna bless myself. Okay. You should uh, help. guide into me. Or enhance your ability to find things well. Well, he does have that locate. Well, you oh. don't. You actually don't want to bless or guidance because then you would lose the locate object. Oh, I would. Okay. That is concentration. You can only have one concentration spell at once. Enhance ability the concentration. Thing. I get it. Um, that's a good question. Spells. Because you don't want to get down there and have a bad investigation. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he should be fine locating it just simply because he could. He magically knows where it's at. Um, it is enhanced ability is. Okay. So, but you, you should be okay. Um, How deep is the water? Oh wait, we don't even know. Don't know. It's only one way to find out. Well, uh, I don't need to breathe. Uh, Bartholomew, did you want to inspire? Uh, no, I don't think I do. You're gonna hang <laughs> on to that just in case. Yeah, I just want to kind of see how this plays out. All right. Okay. Ra uh, Ivy, you cast Heat Metal. Yep. Uh, it is going to do damage. Mm-hmm. But it might also protect him from the leeches, so. I step out into the um, water up to my waist and pause for a moment. Okay. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw. <sighs> stressy, aggressive, stressy, aggressive. Dex. Oh, that's lovely. You step out to your waist <laughs> and you immediately sink down. Um, with Go ahead and roll your damage for the heat metal real quick. And since you're in the water, what I'll do is I'll give you half damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. So How do I do that? Uh, I, Ivy will go ahead and roll. A d4. Uh, no, heat metal is... <laughs> er, oh, hold on. Yeah, I gotta look. Do 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 do. Uh, heat metal is 2d8. Oh, gosh. He's, a, he's in the water, so he's going to be taking half damage. He should be okay. That's true. Plus, he has full health right now. So. Is the water the, damaging the 5d10 or whatever? <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, my gosh. That's coming Anx up next. Anxiety. 
That's fair. Okay. Yeah, this is my D8. Okay. Five and seven. So 13, 12. Uh, we'll do seven damage. Okay. I got, you, I got you though. You start going down and you do have him. Uh, he drops a little quicker than you expected, but you, you got a good hold for now. Um, rattles, you continue downwards. You do uh, uh, start feeling like little nibbles, little bites start going at you, but like as soon as they bite down before they can even really do any damage, they let go. That heat metal is doing something. Uh, you guys are seeing a whole lot of bubbles, uh, but it, it's just boiling instead of, you know, a feeding frenzy. I'm uh, spicy. I'm going to have healing word at the ready since he's okay. still within range, too. Uh, you do need to be able to see, which you cannot currently see. Oh, that's right, because the water God, cost um, water. You keep going down. Uh, go ahead, g give me another damage roll for heat metal. Okay, okay. Oh, two. Okay. Two. <laughs> okay, two damage. There you go. There you go. Not so spicy. <laughs> not as not as spicy. It's all right. It's still it's still protecting you just fine, and you keep going down. You are about ten feet away from the sword when you feel you can't see very much like you can see your hand in front of your face but not too much further you feel something larger oh. i want to can i use message to like try to create a a comm link down there with uh -huh. the yeah the with message you don't need to see them you just need to know like kind of point. their general direction yeah. so yeah you can Okay. What do you say? Yeah. Say, uh, uh, raccoon one to rattles one. Uh, what's your, what's your tin four down there, buddy? What's your, what's your, what's your visual? You can reply. I don't yet. see much, but I do believe I've bumped into something large. I don't think it's an Abolf. I hope. Hey guys, he says he's filling around on something large down there. Sweet. You continue down, uh, and you are um, now kind of in front of the sword. Like you can feel the sword is right near you. Uh, you reach out, and the first thing you feel is uh, uh, hard, but it's not metal. Ooh. You feel a little crunch, and you bring it to your face, and it's bone. Uh. Oh, okay. So you let that go, and reach down, oh and you feel your hands close around a blade. Okay. So when this happens... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh no. Is, can you control water? Can anyone control water? Mm -mm. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I, could, I could cause a tremor that could redirect it. Uh, does a <clears throat> 21 hit? Oh, for us. Uh, my AC is 19. Okay. So I would guess so. So you take 11 points of damage, and I need a constitution saving throw. Actually, no, I don't, because you're a uh, construct. So you're okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. I... As something whacks you extremely hard. Right across the back. I uh, reach up and grab the rope and tug it three times, and immediately, if you recall any younger siblings, if you've ever had to sleep in the same room with them, and you oh, know yeah. that they're near you, and yeah. you just start gambling in the dark, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what I'm doing with the... Uh, First thing that's going to happen, go ahead and roll uh, one more round of heat metal here. Oh, shit. Please, 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 please be good to me. Roll shitty. Oh, shitty. Three? Oh, okay. fuck. Please, please, please. Oh, two. Yeah, all right. Uh, two damage again. Um, and then, oh, shit. How much was uh, 11? Okay. Um, so you're, you're definitely feeling some damage going on. Uh, and then you start swinging. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, just... It would be a disadvantage because you can't really see. 
Uh, but roll an attack roll with your hands. So just d20 uh, plus your strength. D20. 19 plus. Okay. Strength is plus four. So you do hit something. Go ahead hmm. and roll damage, which will be uh, uh, a d4 plus your strength. Why, why aren't you using the sword? I am. Oh. Oh, that's what I'm, I'm that's swinging not, around the sword. You're swinging the sword. Oh, my brain. Yeah, okay. My brain didn't. Okay, so uh, damage wise, then. Oh, you got to roll another d20 because it was a disadvantage. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. That's my own. 16. Still good. Still hits. Um, so go ahead and roll the damage. So roll uh, a d8. All right, five. Okay. And then your strength. Is four added to? So you hear, you hear in the water this <laughs> fuck this this horrid sound um, that literally chills you to the inside. The rest of you hear this as well. Raccoon one, this is rattles. Get Calling it back. <laughs> we need to look everybody pull the rope everybody yeah. pull the rope well, like now <laughs> before that happens <sighs> we're gonna have y'all roll initiative oh. Oh. Mm. 21 mm. oh 19 hey oh, good, good. good that's good good 13 for Valencia. i still have gift of alacrity Yep. That's a 22. Nice. Uh, and then, oop, Jade's on there twice. Oh, that's right, because you had the magic uh, weapon up earlier. Um, and then, Taco, what, what's your initiative? Uh, 15 plus 4, 19. 19. All right, and then the creature. As per usual. I rolled like shit. <laughs> I mean, we're we're used to it now, aren't we, guys? <laughs> uh, but so brick, as as uh, Bartholomew, you get that message, uh, and then you let everybody know, hey, shit's fucked. Um, you brick, you're the first one to react. Why Ivy is standing right next to you, holding the whip. Holding the... To pull Rattles uh, out. Yeah, Rattles will, is right to the whip. I will rage mm -hmm. and grab the rope and pull All him out right. of the water. Give me a strength check. With advantage. Uh, strength. Uh, 20, 30, 20. 20? All right. So you, you are getting him pulled, like, right out of there. Uh, it does get an attack of opportunity. Uh, that is a 28 to hit. What the hell is Wait. this? I roll really, really, really good. Uh, fuck. And then I roll shit on the damage. So that's nine points of damage. <clears throat> um, as he comes out of the water, if you wanted to right now, Ivy, you can stop concentrating on the on the heat metal. Or you can keep going. Up to you. Uh, uh, no, because I would like to healing word. Gotcha. Uh, you did say you were holding a healing word. Uh, yes. So as he comes out of the water, I'll, I'll let you get that off real quick. Thank you. So one d four plus the spell plus your uh, modifier plus your wisdom modifier. Yeah. Got it. So I would just click wisdom in the actual d twenty for that one, right? Uh, j just roll the, the D4. Okay. Uh, a D4 and then add your wisdom, which I believe is three or four. It's three, yeah. Fuck. It's four total. Hey, that's better than none. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Um, you fly out of the water, and you'd actually land probably near brick more than anything. Mm -hmm. Um... You are you are currently prone, Rattles, but you're okay. very aware that something is very big down there. 
Uh, and it's got a scent. Got a scent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so part of my rage, you'll see, because I'm guessing it's going to (laughs) come. So as I raged, uh, before pulling rattles out, you'll see Brick reach into the ground and pull, and you will see this huge, long gemstone shard pulled out, and it's like a huge gem makeshift spear ready to attack. So uh, he did that as his rage with his mm-hmm. rage action, and then pulled rattles out. Okay. Um, could I, Gollum, you you are. Could I burble something as I come running or mm-hmm. flying out of the water? Oh, please burble. Please burble. <laughs> we could run away. <laughs> Real quick, just as I'm uh, coming out of the water. Thousand bitch, which which means that is one in the bank for for a, for a brick fuck. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was one of these. <laughs> that, that's later. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Um, because because she just can't stop donating stuff. <sighs> okay, uh, Bartholomew, what are you doing? Or taco or Bart? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bartholomew where, where and taco. Your deck. Okay, what is this creature? Uh, you're not sure. You well. Let's do this. Give me a nature check. You did hear it kind of, you know, let out its scream. We'll see. 21. Hey. Okay. So you actually do recognize the sound that this thing made. It is, in fact, an aboleth. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, I don't like you it. You know, with a 21, you know these things um, are pretty strong uh they are very smart and they are prone to taking over a creature's mind hmm okay well i would i wanted to use my um my feline ag- agility even though it's raccoon agility mm-hmm. and i'm gonna scramble my little little furry feet as fast as i can and leap through the air okay and claw the piss out of his fucking eyes you're diving in the water to go get it? What? I, I thought you I, pulled it out of the water. No, no, rattles, rattles out. Rattles out. <laughs> yeah, rattles was pulled out. The aboleth oh. is still in the water. It's still in the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Still underneath. Did, did, can, can they come out of water? What you can do is you can hold an action so that when it does come out of the water, you activate whatever... No, but they, but they can come out of the water. Oh yes, you know that they okay. can breathe underwater or breathe underwater and uh, out in the air. Fine, then I'll um, just flick my spoon at it. Yeah, so you you load up a, be- a bearing and you're ready to fire for when it comes out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Simple enough. Taco. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> a lot has happened. Okay. Uh. uh this thing is not above the water, correct? It's currently not in your vision, correct? Okay. According to Google, it looks kind of fucky wucky. So, <laughs> there's not a whole lot that I can do right now. Um, I, I feel like it would be extremely pertinent for me to protect Jade <laughs> at this moment. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, based on the events that could possibly happen, is just move back slightly. Um, Ready in action. Because I don't know if you know this. I'm not getting in that fucking water. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's not going to happen, my boy. Hold an arrow ready to fire when it comes out? uh, No, that's definitely happening. Um, (laughs) Okay. I don't know what that means in D and D. So can I hold an action? Is that possible? So that on its turn, when it comes out of the water, or if it comes out of the water, you don't know. Uh, when it okay. comes out, do I need to go I, through the whole spiel? Uh, when the attack comes, yes. For now, you just so I don't need to go out. through it all now. Yep, you're good right now. Cool. All I'm right, moving back and holding action. 
Uh, Ivy, you still have uh, uh, the whip. Rattles is out. You're no longer concentrating on heat metal. Yeah. Danger worm once cave. Shock it. Give it a shocker. <laughs> Electrify the water. That's right. Someone I don't. Uh, okay, let me think here. Let me let me do let me do a giant wrinkle. Of thunkin. Okay. Because using anything heat related directly in that water isn't going to do jack. But perhaps if I could knock some of the loose stone from the initial breakdown back into the water enough of it i could try to cause some damage that way and potentially redirect it a little bit you could would you like to try that i'll give i'll give it a go okay. give me a wisdom check just, just roll your 20 and add your wisdom all right See what happens. okay Basically, like trying to cave in the wall at him a little bit. You said whatever my d20 is plus the wisdom? 14. 14? Okay. So go ahead and roll 2d6. Where are you, small d6? Oh, six! No. And six total, or oh, wait, you said 2D1 2D6. 2d6. Okay, I'm sorry. Six, <laughs> Fucking hell. all right. <laughs> so you uh, uh, look down and you focus all of your energy, and you just earthbender style just, just knock off like a huge piece of, of the ground in front of you shooting it forward so all this is now underwater um and basically cause like a cave in underwater um the bubbles underneath stop not entirely sure what that means <laughs> You did something. <laughs> you did something. Yeah. yeah. Fucking did it. Great. Um, <laughs> Valexia? Or, well, real, real quick, Ivy, do you want to stay right there or you're moving? Uh, I'm going to sidestep backwards. Okay. Yeah. Just not be like right in front of the edge of the wall? No. <laughs> Probably a good idea. You, you're more than welcome to come protect Jane. <laughs> So, how far is it from me? How many feet? Currently? To the water there? You're, you're 30 feet. From the creature? Feet from, well, you're not entirely sure. You can't see the creature underneath the water. Okay, it's okay. In the water somewhere in this area. Hmm. Well, what was this? Can I do Tasha's mind whip at the water? Probably not. Does it say that you have to be able to see them? Tasha's... How? Tasha, I do. I don't. I wish I did. My fingers. Tasha's mind whip. Uh, do, 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 do. within 90 feet yeah uh, you have to be able to see it within range so you can hold it just like they're do okay. like they're doing with their attacks you can hold it for if you see it okay all right I'll um, hold it all right rattles uh, you can use half your movement to stand up all right I'm going to stand up mm -hmm. move I guess I can only go 15 feet now correct Mm -hmm. Get 15 feet away from the water while okay. while yelling, we can run away. <laughs> that is an option. Yeah, and then I'm fair. going to turn around and cast Sanctuary 
on Brick. Okay. Uh, as you do that, uh, Jade uh, will pull out, not her usual, like, stabby stab dagger. She'll pull out a throwing knife and, like, ready that shit. <laughs> it's now the Abolith's turn. You all sit and wait for movement. Um, Ivy, you watch as some of the ground that you pushed away, like a little more falls in and just creates rip ripples across the water. Everyone's holding attacks. Uh, Taco, you have your, your bow pulled back, ready to fire. You're aiming at the water. Um, what languages does, does anyone understand deep speech? Uh, nope. Oh, no, just void speech. Buddy, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> uh, the bottom left of your character sheet, there's languages. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I got to infernal. Okay. Uh, so none of you understand, but you hear whispers in your minds. Each of you. It's just these garbled, mixed up words. Um, Ivy, it, it sounds familiar to void speech, but it, it, it's like trying, it's like a person from Spain. Mm. Who speaks Spanish trying to understand like Puerto Rican Italian or, or Italian. <laughs> yeah, like it's like you're getting like a word here and there that might be this word or maybe that one. What did it, potential did they say words? Or did they say order cheese? You're not sure. Um, oh, I mean, I could get behind a monster who orders cheese. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. um, but. Coming splashing out of this pool <gasps> slopping onto the ground <sighs> right by rattles oh um rattles i need you to make a wisdom saving throw that's a big sucky worm wisdom saver that's a big fucky wucky actually not rattles no <laughs> no, I don't like that noise. <laughs> when he no, when he makes that noise, Taco. he's being a dick. Taco, make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, don't want that stop right now. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, wisdom, 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 wisdom. That's great. You knew I have a negative one. That's a fourteen. A fourteen. A pet. <sighs> you feel something touch your mind oh no you recognize this feeling oh no because someone's controlled you before your entire mm -hmm. body tenses your fingers almost release the arrow you're holding while it's pointed at rattles Whoa. this is God. not a feeling you will ever accept again, and your mind fights against it. This is when everybody's held actions go off. Let's go. Taco, uh, uh, well, let's go go down uh, the line here. Bartholomew, you had your your catapult. Go ahead and cast that real quick. By the way, uh, for chat, the DC was 14. <laughs> oh, geez. you barely did, man. E. Uh, a 16 just misses. Uh, hmm. So you were you were ready to for, for it to come out of the other pool. So you turn real quickly and you fire and it just barely whips past the Aboleth and misses. Taco, you adjust your aim to, to shoot at that thing. Go ahead and fire your arrow. Spoon of catapult. God, <laughs> <that means mine. laughs> You got an uh, 20 so I have now, a plus one you? and a plus two. Uh huh. Uh, so I rolled a 19. Oh yeah, you definitely hit. Let's go. Let's 
Go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, that would be your D8. Oh, hold on. Six. And then... So six plus five. What do I have? Eleven points of damage. Oh. Did you do sharpshooter? Second weird monster thing. <laughs> Uh, that that is a good question. Would you have done sharpshooter? I'll let you decide if you wanted to. Usually, you have to say it before you shoot. Uh, this was this was a weird situation. Do you want ten free extra damage or not? Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when the DM throws you a bone like that, fucking take it. You take it. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, Ivy, you were. I don't you, you know. Did, Should you I? Did you did do some damage to it. Uh, Valexia, you were holding off your mind whip, so it's an intelligence saving yes. throw. Get it, yes. sis. Get some. Oh. Oh. oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sure. I, I, I'm sad. It succeeds. Oh. 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 To be fair, this thing is something that plays yeah. with minds. So you're trying to fuck with a mind fucker. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh Rattle. Okay. You did sanctuary. On brick, yes. Uh huh. So you're, you did your thing. Uh, and then throwing knife from Jade. Hiya! Oh hey, twenty-two. All right. Get it. Sweet baby. Three damage. Hey, wait, that's three more than we had. That's right. Uh, so that was all the held stuff. Uh, it took its turn um, to try and, and capture Taco's mind. It failed. Uh, Brick, we're back to you. How far am I, away am I? Uh, only like five feet, ten feet. I can attack it from 15 feet away. That's right, I you have the long break. arms and the spear. And the spear. Because so you're a crazy I'll, ass motherfucker. <laughs> I'll stay at nice distance range and do a shashiza right in this face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to reckless attack? Yes. Okay. Good thing I did. Uh, 17. That's 25, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely hits. That is... 14 plus 16. Total damage. Damn, alright. Okay. You wanna stay right there? Bonus action? Uh, bonus action... Hmm. I do. You're already but, okay. I don't. What you got? I don't need it though. I will move in front of uh, Bartholomew and IV. Okay. Just make a wall. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Gotcha. My boy. My baby Bartholomew. Boy. <laughs> As Bricks, uh, uh, non-existent cake steps in front of you. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna jump up on top of Brick's shoulder. Okay. I'm gonna withdraw my guitar from my back. Okay. And I'm gonna cast Counter Charm. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Okay. So Ooh. what will the charm didn't work? But what that'll do is the next time it tries to charm somebody, you yeah, you'll, it lasts. you'll activate that. Yeah, nice. It, oh, it's right. supposed it's to last, last until. It? Yeah. Yeah. Until. It lasts until what the end of my next turn. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, cool. all right. Fuck you, too. Um, <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh, uh, no nifty, nifty other thing, Bartholomew. Indeed. You have universal speech. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh. You have the ability to make your speech intelligible to any creature. Uh, can naturally understand you regardless of the language you speak. Uh, you can use it once for a long rest. Okay, so you you won't be able to understand it, but you can make it understand you if you wanted to. Can Can uh, I do that with my counter? Uh, yeah. 
charm? Yeah. So, so when you start talking language? shit to it, it'll understand you. Sweet. It's just gonna be just me playing every note incorrectly. So it's really distracting. Oh. And me just, and me just screaming, fuck you, fish! Fuck you, <laughs> fish! Purposely off key, <laughs> right, in, right in Rick's ear. Oh, and Rick, through the nature to style. not feel pain is starting to get its limits pushed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as your ears start to burn. Uh, so, Taco? Jack Black would be proud. Yes. 100%. Well, he played the Kung Fu Panda. I'm the Kung Fu Trash Panda. Oh my <laughs> yes! <laughs> Kung Fu Trash Panda. Let's go. <laughs> Do your thing, little red man. Autumn got her nickname, Rick's Mommy. We now have Bartholomew's nickname, Kung Fu Trash Panda. Here we go. God. Uh, what you got for me, Taco? As she's thinking, I'll, I'll... Oh. Um... Okay. What we'll do... Uh, we'll go to Ivy's turn. While since we we're, since we're equal. Yeah. I'll uh, just do uh, a real quick tank, what do you want? Uh, for my bonus action, I'll do the cantrip magic stone and throw them to Jade at her feet. Ooh, okay. So she okay. can use uh, D6 plus 5 for her attacks with those. Awesome. <laughs> she, she looks up, she picks up the rocks and just goes, Hit him in the face with it. Mm, they're so shiny. She just gets a real happy look. Uh, you gave her shiny rocks. Uh, Taco, mm -hmm. you back? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, Ivy. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Barty, baby, are you gonna try to talk to this thing, or are we just winging it? Who, me? Yeah, you. Oh, oh, like, what other trash band is in the group, my dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just okay. saying maybe we should ask it politely to let us leave and apologize, right? Misunderstanding? Hmm. I mean, I can try. I don't like the sucky worm. We need to make it sleep. <laughs> we could just we could just get out of its way. Problem solved. Just back off, right? You know what? That's, he was that's just a, talking shit. That's an idea. Uh, so in my songs, I'm just gonna say uh, I'm gonna pause for a moment, and like as soon as you get back in the water, I'll stop playing. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> it can understand you, so like. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, shit. 12? Okay. Taco, can you hear us? I can hear you now. I couldn't hear you before. We got That's you. All right. We're back. Uh, it is your go. Uh, how did Norse's persuasion go? Eh, we'll no. see. I think you should have advantage because uh, I'm annoying as piss right now. That's, you know what? I I kind of feel that. I'll give that to you. <laughs> we'll see what happens with it on your turn. Uh, or, or on its turn. Sorry, Taco. So I'm gonna use sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do arcane shot and feebling arrow. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Bring it on. Big baller moves. I'm gonna use luck. <laughs> okay. Go, oh, that was way worth it. 19? 19 total? Um, or natural 19? Oh, you hit him. Natural 19. Gotcha. So... All right, so go ahead and do your damage. So it's the D8 plus your enfeebling arrow. Uh, D8 plus infinity. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Almost dropped it. Five. So Five plus infeebling arrow. 2d6 necrotic damage on top of that. And they have to make a concept. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> fuck up my monster, why don't you? Jesus. I don't like your monster. Well, it, it, don't it like is a toothy butthole, to be fair. 
It's a distracted it's a tootsie butthole. It, it is. is a very, yeah. It's, it's a, a very ugly little worm thing. Mucus How much heat. damage? Tootsie butthole. Huh? How much damage? I, I rolled a five. And then 2d6. For your invisible arrow. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Five Which one of these sons of bitches is a 15. You got too many damn 20. dice. You told me to roll a 20 and that was it. Uh, five. 20 and then 25. Four. 29 points of damage. Let's go. Cool. Jeez, <clears throat> fuck. Did you, did you save? The, uh, no, I rolled a three. Okay, so all of your damage dealt is half. It's mm -hmm. strength. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do still have your action surge. You didn't lo yeah, use it last fight. I'm gonna... I want to shoot him again. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> it is, it is <laughs> leaking a lot of blood right now. Finish it. Make him sleep. Uh, ten? Uh... <laughs> That's Wait, can I do sharpshooter two times? Like, if I use an action yeah, surge, am I allowed to use sharpshooter sharp all over again? Oh, fucking it. Okay, so let's just, let's take sharpshooter and put it always on. So, <laughs> you, you ADHD, my box? guy. I'm okay, not going to remember you. this. Okay, uh, so. So 10 uh, plus 2. So that's 12 to hit. That'll miss. Uh, plus 2. He, he does have oh, DM yeah. inspiration. Because of your minus five. I have another. You have your another luck. Yep. <laughs> I Go have two for lucks. it. Fuck this thing. Twelve. You tried to take over your mind. Fourteen. So fourteen will still miss. You have one more luck if you want to use it. Up to you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. Does this work? <laughs> <laughs> that does hit. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, a D8. Uh, okay. You Hold can on. only wa it. use one arcane arrow, so that's... But, so this is just a regular arrow. Okay. Well, fuck. Okay, four. <laughs> okay, so that's four, 14, 19 points of damage. Oh, oh yeah, I like dude. that number way more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta remember, sharpshooter adds plus 10, and then you have a plus five... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from all your other stuff so this thing is is really fucked up uh, can those I walk two away now are <laughs> like going away. into its mouth uh, and it's bleeding internal internally uh, Ivy nap time follow that up Ivy I dare you uh, I mean I, look <laughs> I'm just kill it I'm, I'm gonna blast it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast it. Start blasting. I'm gonna start blasting. Start blasting. <laughs> what are you blasting with? Circle of blasting. No, oh, oh, circle it to blast. Jesus, fuck. Yeah. Fuck it's... this thing in particular, then. All right. Yeah. I gave it a so, chance to run. I. Uh, D twenty plus five. <laughs> Three times. Fifteen. So twenty to hit. Yep. Okay. And then you said three times? Yeah, it's, it's Circle of Blasting shoots three fire fireballs, essentially. Fire so it's shots. my... Is it the D4s or is it... Hold on. No, uh, each Oh, no, I just... It's all D6. the same. Okay, yeah. that's right. D20. You just you said ask a question? question. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, how, how long has it been out of water? Uh, like 12 seconds. <laughs> no, okay. Each round, Never mind. each time, even like dry the whole round is six seconds. Well, the, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so, Ivy, two more attack rolls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two more d20s. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. Twelve. Seventeen just hits. Please, please, please give me something good to eat. Twelve. Just hits again. So that is... Yes. 2d6 per shot. Six. Just roll 2d6 and we'll triple it. Okay. Where is d6? Okay. Wait. No, that's not it. You're probably gonna kill this thing. I ain't gonna lie. That's not. Okay. Five. Okay. 
five. And five. So 10, 30 Third. points of damage. Uh, this thing looks like it is rearing back, ready to like just devour rattles at this point. Uh, after getting shot with those arrows and you just see it bleeding like crazy, you activate your circlet of blasting and fire away. And this thing, all three shots go into the mouth and just explode from the outside or inside out. I need rattles yes! and brick and taco to all make deck saves. Oh no. You're a dick. Sorry. <laughs> Eleven. That's yep. That that tracks. Twenty-three. Okay. And Taco. Ten. Okay. So Rattles and Taco are mm -hmm. both just cake. Oh wait, I add. I add, right? Oh, a add what? Every Who's number that? I give you is what I rolled Stop. on the dice. Got gotcha. you. Over this. So add your dice. Fourteen. Four. Fourteen total. Fourteen total. Uh, so you duck behind Rattles just in time. And Brick, you like turn around and, and grab Bartholomew and just cover him. Uh, That's pretty... Rattles, you are absolutely caked in Abolith guts. Yum. Like, <laughs> just, just wrecked. I'll pay for your Abolith wash down, guts. buddy. I'm sorry. Fuck that thing entirely. <laughs> Oh, that makes me feel, yeah, that makes me feel too good. Um, <laughs> so, did this thing eat the other things that fell in the water? Uh, you well, you take a look at roll an investigation check. I will also, if that's the case. Yeah, I would like to do that. And as I'm well. going to run my fingers up behind their heads and into their <laughs> hair and cast guidance. Oh wow! <laughs> that was the minion. That was a big minion. Yeah, yeah that's a big fucking minion. Toothy butthole minion. Yeah. Sixteen. Big toothy butthole. Sixteen. Plus yeah. four. Um, yeah, that you was. You look around. Um, the the most that you find is like pieces and chunks of meat that might have been humanoid, maybe. Um, you don't find any stuff. Uh, Bartholomew, with your knowledge of aboleths, uh, they eat the meat and spit out everything else. Uh, but you guys did get the shadow blade. That's something. Which rattles you still currently have. <laughs> Anyone want this? And I just stick it in the ground. I want more shinies. I'm going to walk over where I dropped the guy, or the one, like right where I dropped her. Mm -hmm. The mage. Mm -hmm. And he's going to hold up this little stone to his ear. And I didn't know I could do that. And he will do a monolith cantrip right underneath where he dropped it. So it pushes the body up 10 feet. Oh. Uh, you push up. And boy. the only things that come up is the torso of a skeleton. Uh, well, oh, that's pretty. You know what, honey? It's okay. I'm so proud of you. That's a cool little thing. <laughs> I that was, uh, that's kind of nice. I'm so proud of you. It's like the earth is bricked up or something. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. All right, well, that one's going to be end, ended up on TikTok. Maybe. Not on mine. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll post it. I'll put it on mine. I'll put it on mine. Okay, That's what tacos is for. And we'll bleep it out. <laughs> um, okay. Well, it seems the danger has, has passed. Um, it is getting late at night at this point in time. You guys can continue on towards the mountain where you're headed. Uh, how much XP did we get? Oh, I don't do XP. I do uh, milestone. Uh, milestone. Okay. Um, oh. Yeah. So three so draw and an amulet. Paper that says a milestone three. is that? Ouch. Um. Uh, we well, should... you'll see. <laughs> um. 
We should take does, the, does, the risk. Who does take the Shadow Blade? I, I would imagine it would be somebody that would find that useful. So... I'll take it. Bartholomew? Oh. <laughs> no. You just kick it over, pick up the handle. <laughs> yeah. Now that we're dragging it like pyramid head. What, is it like a big sword? Or a uh, sword? No, it's just a long sword, but for him... Yeah, yeah it's a monster. It's great sword to him. <laughs> can, you, can you use a long sword? No. Yeah, you're proficient? I said no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I am! I That's am! Cool. <laughs> yes. Ow, this is okay. awesome. Oh my this god. Is <laughs> So you have yeah, the shadow boy. blade. Okay. Um, you guys continue on You're towards gone. the mountain um, for uh, for a little bit longer, for a while, um, until it's it's dark enough, um, and then start setting up camp. Um, you are you you essentially walk until you're out of the swamp, and you can actually find a mostly comfortable place to sleep that probably doesn't have any leeches. Um, <laughs> the one thing I will ask, I, I want everybody to make constitution saving throws. <sighs> oh. Oh. I, I love this oh. dice. I love this dice. This Ooh. is good. Oh. <laughs> Six, nine, four. 19. <laughs> okay, all right. This is my favorite dice right now. 19. Mm. Okay. Uh, Brick Taco, you're good. Uh, Valexio, what you yeah, get? Influencer, do the influencer. <laughs> yeah. It's like galaxy dice. Oh, and today on Home Shopping Network, <laughs> uh, dice from um, oh, there so we those go. that rolled below a 10, you take seven points of damage as the bugs bite like motherfucks. <sighs> oh, oh. <Gross>. <laughs> but um, you you, you you spend a you spend a hot minute itching, um, and it's not too comfortable. I don't like being itchy. Are, are mine mosquitoes or fleas? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, with a with a four, yes, <laughs> it's fucking both. <laughs> what kind right of now the fleas or mosquitoes? <laughs> um. <laughs> So you guys do eventually uh, uh, get to to a, a camp area. Uh, brick, you you set up the campfire and and whip up a couple of brick rolls for everybody to eat. It's been a long yes. day. Whoever wishes to eat, Rattles picks up a brick roll. I will eat a brick roll. Turns to Ivy. I will save it for later, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> by the end of the campaign you're just gonna have a whole bag full of brick rolls that you save later yeah <laughs> and I kind of wipe off some muck give Taco a little bit of a stink eye and then go over to Jade uh, <laughs> motherfucker I protect you I'll just uh, give mine to whoever's nearest to you mm -hmm. uh, Jade is really happy right now she I bet. Tooth. She found an abaluth, aboleth tooth. Oh, cool. Mm. So well, we'll see what that hap what happens with that thing. Um, cool. Everybody curls up, ready for bed. Um, the night is well and truly on its way. Uh, who uh, rattles? You can take watch. Is anyone going to join him? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay up because I don't need to sleep. So. Okay. Taco and Bardo, the two Brooke's of you. gonna bury himself in the dirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the th so the three of you, rattles included, go ahead and make perception checks. Oh wait, uh, yeah. perception. My bad. Finally. <laughs> 15? All right. Oh, oh. 22. Shit. All right. All right. Oh, uh, you mother. 19. <laughs> uh, so you, you both. How the fuck I roll a natural 20 and get a minus one? <laughs> Ouch. 
eh, shit happens, buddy. Um, but luckily, your buddy Bartolomew got a 22. Uh, between the two of you, you keep a very close eye on camp. It is mostly just you two awake. Do you guys talk at all? Have conversation at all? Or just... I don't trust the little bandit. What are you going to do with that sword? I'm just overcompensating for something. Aww. Well, at least you're honest. <laughs> well, I will ask, Bartholomew, would you like to attune to the blade? Hmm. Mm, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. So at some point in the night while you're sleeping, or wh while you're doing your watch, uh, you start attuning to the blade. Uh, I need you to make a, a wisdom saving throw. Uh-oh. Well, you know, wisdom's my, my uh -huh. forte, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh! Yeah, as you see. Oh! Seven. So, you take uh, 12 points of necrotic damage. Sassy. Oh, God. As you're sitting there with the blade and start attuning to it, um, you can see when you originally saw it, it had this shadowy stuff coming off of it. And that hasn't been there. It's just been this completely black blade. As you're attuning to it, the shadow stuff starts to emanate from it again. And as that's happening, as you can feel yourself connecting with the blade, it completely covers you. Oh. Uh, Taco, um, you you kind of like doing a, doing a quick roundabout from the camp. You see Bar Bartholomew sitting there, and you watch as the shadows wrap around him. Um... He stands up. Bartholomew, I'd like you to make an attack roll. With uh, that sword? Uh-huh. So roll a d20. Where's Rattles at? Uh, Rattles isn't too far from you guys. Uh, he did roll an 11, though. Uh, 14. And then what's your, <laughs> what's your uh, strength, Bartholomew? My modifier? Mm -hmm. Zero. Okay, so does a 14 hit, Taco? No. Mm. So slowly, Bartholomew stands up and swings the blade, and you just barely, because your AC is 15, so he just missed in front of your face. And he is standing there. Am, am I aware of what I just did? You, you're still sitting there, looking at this blade. You've no idea what's going mm. on. Did I notice this? Uh, I'll have you make another perception roll real quick. Alrighty, perception. Now oh, thank 20? God. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, you you quickly activate, uh, turn on, you wake up, and you look over, and Bartholomew just took a swing at Taco, yet he's covered in this, this shadowy cloak. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna Stop. throw a whole person at him. Okay, Bartholomew, make a, <laughs> is, it a is it a what saving throw? Reflex? Wisdom, no. I think. Oh. Where is oh. it? I got it. Person is a wisdom. So 20. I believe that beats your Ooh. you think. So you uh throw the magic out at Bartholomew, uh, and you don't feel the magic take hold of him. He fights it. Taco, what are you doing? <clears throat> Can I? How tall is he? <laughs> Say, uh, like an inch taller than you, I think. You're 5'2", five five and he's 5'3", I oh, think. No, he's way taller than me. Oh, how I'm tall are you? I'm just under four foot. My oh, character's yeah. three foot five. Oh, so oh, I am taller than him. Or three foot <laughs> yeah. two. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's four inches taller than you. I'd like to bonk him on the head with my trident. Okay, so what we'll do is you're essentially gonna go ahead and roll damage or roll an attack with your trident. And then it's just, and do your regular damage. It's just non. Uh, Bludgeoning damage? 
uh, non-lethal damage. So, mm -hmm. so D20. Yeah. Trying to find a way not to screw this yeah. up where I kill you accidentally. Yeah. You can, you're essentially turning on non-lethal damage. 19. So that's and a, then strength? So that's a 22 to hit. I believe that hits part all of you. 14? Yeah. Um, so go ahead and roll your damage. I, I, I will say again, a bonk. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that is 1d8 plus 1. Oh, 1d8 plus 1. 1D8. I would like to stab him non lethally. <laughs> <laughs> seven seven plus one so eight eight points of damage okay he's still conscious uh and you is he awake now uh he did take damage so please make another wisdom saving throw but i'll let you six nope <laughs> <laughs> Has He's... anyone woken up during this bullshit? <laughs> uh, either Taco or Rattles can easily yell out and everybody can wake up. Okay. Uh, at this moment, though. As I bonk. Yeah. What do you say? As I bonk. What the fuck do you think you're doing? And hopefully, yeah. everybody wakes uh, up. Because I'm screaming mm -hmm. it. <laughs> um, Bartolomew, please make another attack roll. <laughs> So D20 plus your strength. So oh, plus zero. So just straight D20. Shit. A 16 hits Taco. Uh, please roll. Pull that back up. Give me a moment. I had it pulled up. Where did I have it? Ta-da. Uh, roll a D6 plus three D6. Now three more. Mm-hmm. Four... Uh, eight. Ooh. Eight, nine, eleven. Sixteen points of damage to Taco. Oof. As I told y'all, I didn't trust uh, this it, little He bandage. takes another slash and slashes you across the chest. And it... You've been cut before. You know, you're, you're a seasoned adventurer. You've been stabbed and cut. This feels very different. Um, a cut usually burns a bit. This is cold. Freezing, freezing cold. Um, nifty thing. Uh, I'll have, um, words. Ivy and Brick, both of you roll perception checks for me real quick. I can just roll a d20 for that, right? Mm-hmm. 15. 19. So 19. Yeah, both 19. You guys all look around. Um, one thing you notice, uh, everybody's awake. You watch uh, Bartholomew covered in this shadow cut taco, and you look over. Valexia's still sleeping. Everyone's kind of <laughs> moving and yelling. Valexia's still down. Okay, but first of all, uh, it, look, I still have Queef Missile in my hands, right? You do. Okay, because I'm going to queef that around the sword that he's holding and jerk that out of his hands. We're not doing Specifically this. Specifically the sword. Okay. Uh, let me... Rope. Uh, entanglement. I think it's a dex save. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw, Bartholomew. Fail it, fail it, fail it, fail it, fucking fail it. Roll shitty, roll shitty. 14 the DC is 15 <laughs> so you do get the sword uh, both of you make either athletics or acrobatics checks uh, no it, it would be athletics checks okay. so natural one for Bartholomew 10 hey you do successfully pull the sword away Nice. Uh, Bartholomew, you take 10 points of necrotic damage as it is pulled from your hand. You are still standing, kind of. Uh, no, I'm not. You have four I hit points. I didn't subtract the seven earlier. Oh, shit. So Bartholomew is unconscious. 
But the sword now clink, clink, clink to the to the ground, and the shadows um, dissipate away from him. No one fucking touch it. You guys wanted the sword. <laughs> no one fucking touch it. Am I still sleeping? You touched me. Valexia, you are still completely asleep. Dang it. Non-moving. Brick will run over and shove a brick roll in the little rat man's face. Okay. Uh, roll the healing. It's one. For the good brick. So you take one point of healing, Bartholomew. No, I don't. I can't eat. A brick roll is shoved in your face. It no, no, I, I physically can't yeah. eat because of the, the characters. Oh, that's right. What? Well, th- this is a little different because it's, it's magic. I'll, I'll allow the, the hit point. It's, it's, so, it's a brick roll. Yeah, it's <laughs> it is healing. It's So you get one Let's point go. of healing. Also, the brick roll, fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Sweet and salty. Um, <laughs> you all uh, uh, look over Paco. You are you are cut. It does hurt pretty bad. Uh, I will cure wounds on Taco. Okay, go ahead and roll your healing on that. So my one d eight plus three. Where are you? Okay, here you are. Five plus three, so five, six, seven, eight. Eight points of healing. Nice. Yeah. You're back up at 32. So you're, you're feeling much better. Uh, you watch the wound close up, yet that same kind of scar that was on Valexia's back and those black veins remain. I walk over to Taco and kneel down. And as I'm about to cast Lesser Restoration, I close my blue eye before mm-hmm. casting. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right, go ahead and roll. That's weird. <laughs> uh, are you doing less Inspiration again? Bardic Inspiration, what? Uh, lesser Restoration. Yes, Lesser Restoration. Gotcha. So you watch the black veins kind of pull back. As this is occurring, uh, I will use my little leather pouch to sweep this sword up in my stuff, but not fucking Shoot. touch it. Okay. <laughs> You guys wanted the sword. I uh, walk you over. Could have gone for other items, but eh, it's all right. <laughs> Brick will walk over to Valexi and just kind of like nudge her. Mm-hmm. You're having a um, as you go over to her and kind of kind of give her a nudge. She doesn't move, um, but you do notice something right off in the firelight. You can see her eyes closed, and you see another eyelid right here. What the frick is wrong with your face? <laughs> <laughs> there's Honey, an that's... eye where there shouldn't be an eye. That's uh, I, mean, I don't know what this is. I know, baby. It's a little rude, though. We don't want to point out other eyes on people's faces. She's okay. asleep. I know, but, it, you know, it's the thought. Valexia, deep in your dreams, it's you just find gonna yourself like... okay. in this dark, cold place. You can feel around you like that that feeling of like cobwebs as you walk through a cobweb. It is all mm-hmm. over you. Your your skin is prickled up. Goosebumps everywhere. Ew. You, know, you think you see something move off in the distance, something very large. You hear a voice. Alexia. So wonderful you could return to me. You recognize the caress of this voice because you heard it before. This is the Spider Queen, Loth herself. Oops. I hate it. What do you say? I don't want to be here. I want to leave. Can oh. I just turn around? <laughs> you turn around and yes. you see another skittering movement. Oh my dear. 
I have my fingers on you now. There's no escaping me anymore. Only a matter of time. Mm. Can I persuade myself to wake up? I'll give you uh, <laughs> an intelligence saving throw. Since that's your spellcasting modifier, you're trying to focus just a seven, oh. 17 natural? Jesus fuck. Um, you suddenly wake I up and Brick is there and he looks very concerned. <laughs> you fucking take on God, God. What's wrong? <laughs> is there something wrong with my face? Is the eye still there? Uh huh, it's open. You see a black like, don't know, baby. Don't, don't put your black eye looking at you. It's like you put your finger in it. Just can't like look away. I firmly grasp his finger and shake my <laughs> finger at him. Oh no, not the mommy finger shake. <laughs> Somebody tell her. I can't, oh. I, I can't Can say I... it properly. Someone say something. I look over and I say, Alexia. You have a new brown eye. Can I try to look at my eye in um in Rattle's shiny butt? Yes, you like look for at the at the gilded radiance that is Rattle's perfect cake. You peer. and you look and you see an eye underneath your right eye. Can I try to do an Arcana check on it? Oh yeah. <laughs> you found your brown eye in his brown eye. Hey! Uh, yeah. You know exactly what this is. Okay. This is the beginning stages of someone turning into a drider. Oh! No! no. Uh, this is bad news bears, guys. I'm a bear. I'm not bad news. <laughs> no, it's other bad news. Other kinds of bears. But, um... This sucks. What's going on? What's with the... What is this? <laughs> I'm slowly turning into that drider, like, that we fought. Half spider, half human corpse thing. It's great. I'm, I'm sorry, did you say sucks? Like, oh, yeah, yeah this kind of sucks. See, sucks. Sucks is when somebody trips <laughs> over something and, like, falls down a hill. This is not suck. This is royal fuck, okay? There's a difference. <laughs> do, you, yeah. do you know how to stop it? Can you shut that eye? Or uh, can you stop it? <laughs> do I have any understanding of how to stop it with my law priestess training? Uh, yes. A greater restoration. Oh. Does anyone have a greater restoration around? I'm afraid I would need to level <laughs> up in order to <laughs> Awesome. That also uh, costs a, a diamond worth 500 gold. I have checked. It is about now that you all realize Taka was also cut. Fuck. That sword sucks. They should. <laughs> <laughs> you know who has a lot of shinies usually I've heard dragons oh no okay. the DM yeah. planned this Alexia <laughs> yeah what is our timeline a few days maybe yeah. um Hey, I'm like a man bear pig. Being a drider might not be so bad. Yeah, no, no, very bad. No, you very lose, bad, baby. You lose your mind. We don't. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to do that. It's no, bad. you definitely don't want to turn into something you're not meant to be. Well, that was deep. Well, that was deep. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. I guess. All right. I guess we. We better, we get, better going. get going. How long did we sleep? Um. This is about the time that you guys can go back to sleep because it's only been like a couple hours at this point. Um, can a lesser restoration slow it? it? That is what's slowing it. Okay. That is why hmm. you are not a drider right now. Okay. Good job. Uh, and since Taco Good has job. also been lesser restoration, he also is safe for now. 
Yeah, but like, okay, so you're telling me a few days is the time frame from the time that that sword Hadoukens to that? Then why were, what, what were the people that we fought earlier? Those were drow. Um, Valexia, you could take the time to explain. Uh, uh, the drow who upset Lolf or piss off Lolf in any sort of way tend to get turned into Dryder, which are mindless, yes. soulless creatures yeah. completely under the control of Lolf. Yep. Hmm. So it's like a centaur, but on top it's a drow, and on the bottom you guys fought one. the bottom of a spider. Yeah. <laughs> so the one that what you're saying is the... <laughs> so what's happening the, with the Jack little hamster. Same thing. The hamster is the the reason that I may or may not be turned into something I don't want to be. All right, listen. Either way, we need to get moving. We need to get our hands on either a greater restoration. Well, I'm sorry. Are you the one that's cut? <laughs> Do you want fix? <laughs> How am I feeling? I'm sorry. Would you rather you, be a giant um, eight-legged fuck or you, you want to get moving? When you woke up from the brick roll, um, you feel really cold. Oh, no. You don't feel anything else other than that at the moment. Go ahead and give a uh, medicine check. Natural one. <laughs> other than cold, um, you don't feel anything else unexpected. Can uh, I? Your head hurts. Your head fucking hurts. It's can like someone I... bonked you. Put my <laughs> hand on him to see if I can ascertain what's going on. Mm hmm. I would love to. All right. We're just, just still staring at the third 13. Eye. 13. Do you recognize the symptoms of withdrawal? Fuck. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, before we get too far, I might die soon, so I want to compliment Rattles on their beautiful butt. It's very pretty. <laughs> Thanks so, for letting me look into it. That's a good way to go out. Thank Nobody. you. Nobody. As much as we all like ass checks, we should probably get moving. Yeah. Uh, as badly as Taco uh, wants to right. cuss me for it. Uh, so you quickly uh, get back to sleep, get the sleep that you can get um, to finish the long rest. Everybody does get your long rests. Um, Bartholomew, you do have uh, one level of exhaustion, uh, which means you have disadvantage on uh, ability checks. <laughs> I believe. Unless I'm wrong. At least you're not, least you're not turning into a drider. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, uh... Thanks for the reminder. Yeah. Oh, uh, during the night, Taco, you yourself also get a nifty little dream. <laughs> where you are visited by a... Oh! A Sweet! Super excited about this. Very beautiful woman. <gasps> Ooh! Gray, um, like light gray skin her eyes as black as night and upon her head a crown that's just the, the blackest black you've ever seen mm -hmm. well this is unexpected two treats in one night And who might you be? Fuck you, Wint. I'm not, I don't have time for cheap sex potions and tramps. Leave me alone. <laughs> you have some bite, don't you? That's fine. I sense you'll be mine. Why don't we take a step back like your hairline real quick, okay? Oh! Go away. This is my dream. Oh! <laughs> None of it. She <laughs> looks at you. She gets really like the this, the look on her face is she is pissed. And she gets a slight too, like that. smile. And she walks forward at you. You don't like the way I look. I can simply change. This is my is this my, like a her can I shoot her in my dream? Uh, you do not have your weapons. <laughs> um, what kind of bullshit dream is this? 
<laughs> Actually, nifty thing. Uh, you you go to like try to move. You realize your arms are bound by web. You look down and now your ha- your you. feet are. Oh, she's she in the kinky shit. Okay. How are you doing? And as she does, her form shifts into a familiar face. A beautiful face. One you haven't oh, no. seen in a very oh, long sh- time. You did that to yourself? You did. This is all you. Uh, is this any better? I, no, because I still know that you leave a snail trail whenever you walk, so go away. <laughs> Her hand reaches up and just kind of across your face. Real light. You're a very brave man. I've seen many. I feel like my anger at this time would pull me out of this. <laughs> like okay. the unadulterated I'll, rage. I'll give you a wisdom. Uh, uh, no, I made an intelligence saving throw last time, so we'll do that. Intelligence saving throw. <laughs> 18. Ooh. Plus. Intelligence plus two. Right before 20, 30, you wake 20. up, what do you say to her? You are but a mirror image of the woman she once was. <laughs> and you pull yourself from this. <sighs> Yeah. Get rid. You open your eyes <laughs> as the sun rises, and you all continue your trek towards the mountain. Um, it's in the morning. Um, as you guys finally uh, um, like get through the woods. Oh, that, sorry. Um. ADHD moment. We're, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's a tick. It's a tick. Don't it's, worry. It's all right. Everything's fine. Um, you do uh, uh, start to notice your vision is a little bit off, Taco. Uh, as whoever is walking by near Taco does realize he himself also has another eye. Mm. <laughs> Taco sees me glancing at him every so often, but only with my yellow eye. Uh, Jade does walk up uh, with with Taco and Flexia kind of just just being nearby. She looks up. She goes, "Hey, that's that's kind of cool. Weird, really weird, but cool." Brick, I'm down here, so you would have to point down here. <laughs> You're tall. I'm <laughs> no, he's like, he's like just one time, he's man. Like hands and feet, just like. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, he does in fact poke the eye, and it does hurt. It's with my long oh, lens. Man. It's like I'm like far away. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to kill ourselves before we ever get there. <laughs> you guys... Uh, <laughs> so, uh... Sorry. Focus. Be a professional. You're fine. No. Um, you guys eventually stop to eat and have uh, have a quick lunch. Uh, a fox does approach. And Rivers. next to Brick. <laughs> Hello. Well, hello there, everyone. Hi, Reynard. It seems you no. made it through the forest safely. Yeah. Look. Uh, there's the. Oh, I, I, I noticed. Yeah. How you feel? Your buddy slapped me. Ah, uh, yes. Can you fix I that? I heard what happened. <laughs> fix it now. Here's the thing. 
I don't have the ability to do that. You do have the money, though. <laughs> I'm a lord of the Feywild. Of course I have money. Fix it. Now, friend. I think, considering that he has done enough so far, demanding things from him is not the way to go about it, considering that he's a booze hound. Maybe we should be nicer. That was a... That was a... The person that he said has to come with us. <laughs> Cut to me. Not... And now I have spider pussy in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't calm down, you're gonna have spider pussy for real on you. So how about we chill a little? If that happens, it's not gonna be my problem anymore, because I will be dead. <laughs> well... It's gonna be all of your problems. If you wish, I cannot fix it for you, but I can assist. More brick rolls? Not quite. Um, but I do have a connection. Someone that might be able to help, and I will provide the necessary components. Please. It'll take me a few days. Rattles. Does Mel know of your existence? Oh, of course. We've tangled. Tangled. M my friend, there's a reason I want that piece of shit dead. Mm. However, in this current world, my abilities are limited. You could all join me in the Feywild. I'm sure that would be a trip. <laughs> is that a fun place? I'm good. Uh, no, oh, we, we're good here, a baby. Delight. We're we're good here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't like sucky worms <laughs> and big sucky worms. He 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 opens his mouth like he's gonna just say something. And he's just like. I'm not going to touch that one. So, <laughs> give me a few days. I'm sure Rattles can help stave off the infection long enough for me to procure my friend. That's very nice of you. Just as soon as you can, please. Of course. I'll be as quick as possible. Do enjoy your brick rolls. Uh, and he grabs one and <sighs> pads off. <laughs> he's so nice. I like yeah, him. Yeah, yep, he's Shut great. Up, <laughs> <laughs> the day eventually uh, comes to an end and you are getting pretty close uh, to the mountains. Before um, we camp. I want to cast Lesser Restoration on Valencia and then use my Channel Divinity to regain that same spell slot and cast it again on Taco, gotcha. making sure to only look at him with my yellow eye. Thank you. All right. oh. Much I appreciate it. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> uh, right, so you guys bed down once more. Um, you'll likely arrive to the, to the foot of the mountains in the morning. Everyone lays down to sleep who, who can sleep. <laughs> As you do. Um, is anyone else staying awake other than Bartholomew? And, ooh, hey, kitty. Look, it's Jade! Tiny she's, Jade! She's going after the knives. Do it, baby! You got this! You get those knives. You find Mel and you stab him. He deserves it. <laughs> um, as you guys are all uh, uh, bedding down and getting ready for sleep, um, you do... Uh, it would probably be Ivy first. 
notices um, standing off, like just outside the firelight. There is someone standing. <laughs> you good over there, Taco? We're all sleeping. No, uh, this is like you guys are like getting ready for bed. The bed rolls are. Oh, are you are out. like the U.S. government right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> fucking everyone, every way you could find. Wow. <laughs> I just Damn. figured I'd check up on my favorite adventurers. How's everybody holding together? Are we awake? Mm hmm? Is this Mel? Oh, yes. I just look at him, sit down, get Jade ready to go to sleep, just keep staring at him. Hmm. Hmm. Well, don't all inform me of the events at once. Tell me, how's everything going? Go away. You all forgot the last time and you killed our cat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but all of you, you're looking ravishing. How are you enjoying your body? Hmm. Currently muted right now, buddy. You're right. Okay. I'm going to just walk up to him really casually, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say, "I will kill you." Oh, if I had a copper piece, I'm I'll, sure. I'll throw a copper piece at him. <laughs> you throw the copper piece. And it goes directly through him. What's wrong with your head? Oh. <laughs> oh man. He's an airhead, Rick. <laughs> he walks through Bartholomew. Bartholomew, you, you instantly recognize that this is an illusion. He's not really here. Uh, he goes and sits down around the fire. Valexia, you look... A little extra. Is everything like all right? It? Do you like it? Oh, absolutely. It's a, it's a new fad, actually. Um, everyone, all the cool kids are doing it. Mm. No, I actually well, got stabbed and I'm becoming because a Taco has never been a cool kid. <gasps> Rude. Rude! Are there rocks or, like, pebbles <laughs> where we are? Because yeah, sure. I would like to just throw them through his head <laughs> during the entire encounter. <laughs> yep, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all having fun on this adventure? No. No. Oh, we're playing with many things. <laughs> really? <laughs> but lots of people napping, it's great. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> you all Why seem so tired. Why are you here? Well, uh, like I said, you're all my favorite adventurers. I just wanted to check up on you all. Make sure you're doing okay. We're fine. Cool. Fuck off. Yeah. He looks over to Boo. Ivy. Boo! You're unnaturally quiet. I don't have anything to say to you. Hmm. Nothing at all? Not a word that would matter. Mommy's mad. I'm mad. Well, I can tell when I'm not welcome. And he stands. I do hope you all know what you're doing, what you're getting into. Unless you're gonna elaborate, you're just gonna leave again, right? Name one time I've ever elaborated. <laughs> I could, but that would be too easy for you. That's very, very true. Well, I hope you all don't die. Unless anyone wants to tell me where you're going. 
D does so is this an illusion or is it like a, a I really want to shoot this seeking arrow directly through his head and just see if it goes and finds him <laughs> but hold on let me check seeking arrow real quick because maybe <laughs> Maybe. It is one creature you have seen in the past minute, but if this is an illusion, it's an illusion of that creature. Which would also mean that also, there's a certain distance limit. Go ahead and fire. Question, if, if before wish. I do that, because I don't fucking trust you, who is <laughs> standing behind Mel's illusion? I, I will allow you to, like, carefully aim and make sure... It's not going to accidentally hit somebody. <laughs> no you sharp don't make an attack roll for this. Instead, you choose one creature. 17. I don't add anything to it. Mm -hmm. choose, you don't Using make an attack roll. Magic. You just choose the creature. And the arrow flies oh, towards the creature. Yeah. The <laughs> arrow shoots directly at Mel's head and veers off above him and continues on. Uh -oh. Mel's illusion turns and watches the arrow. Oh, you've always been clever, haven't you? What? You know, I can't wait to give you your gift. Have a wonderful night. And his illusion disappears. As the arrow disappears off into the darkness. Okay. I, he does have to make a deck save to see if it hits him. Ah, so he's within 600 feet. He's just floating up there? <laughs> and you just hear out and do, ow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. As after this encounter ends, you all lay down and do your best to sleep. But it's hard knowing Mel is so close. Everyone eventually gets their long rest. Bartholomew, you no longer have your um, uh, exhaustion point. You're able to rest that off. As you all awaken uh, uh, during the night, um, Valexia, you are also once again visited by Lulf. <sighs> You can feel her fingers on your shoulders tightening. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to force myself awake again. Okay. I hate her so much. You won't be long now. <clears throat> Natural one. Mm. Honey. <laughs> it was eleven. Uh, it was oh, eleven. No, sorry, I, I looked at Norse's thing. My bad. That was. I apologize for that. I did not do that on purpose. I apologize. I saw the that red of Norse's face. That was about to get real weird. Yeah, that was that was about to go really bad, really quickly. Um, okay. uh, Eleven for what total? Intelligence uh, saving throw. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, three. So. Oh, three. So. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. You try to force yourself awake. But the nightmare continues. Nothing... Nothing I can say on stream really happens. Um, but oh, oh, it is, oh. it is, it is a nightmare. Um, and you are torn apart in the nightmare. And when you awake, your vision well. is more split. You actually have uh, advantage on perception checks currently. Because when you open your eyes, 
there are now five. Taco. Like, can I do some like eyeliner? sweet eyeliner makeup? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that okay, tracks. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta. You might as well make them look good. Yep. Um, Taco. Yep. Uh, you are also visited once again. However, Lolf still wears the same face. Mm. I mean, again, I think I feel mm. like I'm going Go for ahead. chaos at this point. Uh, you can make your okay. intelligence check once again. <laughs> what? Nat 20. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Let's you. Go. You look over and you you look at her long enough um, and with no difficulty wake up. You have two eyes. Uh, two extra eyes, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I got five eyes. I got four on my face and the one eye will leave between. Never mind. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you guys awaken and continue on, um, eventually reaching the foot of the mountains, working your way through there. Um, it, it's rough going, but at least there's no bugs <laughs> uh, or swamp. Mm. It is rough going through here, but uh, between actually, it's not too bad between what Ivy can do and what Brick can do. Guys, up! Oh, big old rock in the way. Not anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Eventually, uh, let's have who would be heading this? Who would be leading at the moment? Trying I mean, to find. Is it caverns and is it dark? Trying to find the cavern. Uh, you're you're outside in the mountains right now. You're trying to find the cavern. So probably oh. me, considering the terrain. Well, I can see at night. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So can I? Well, anyway. it's, it's daytime now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Military, god dang it. Military. As we're walking, I come up next to Ivy and say, you know, as a trade, what dragon wouldn't want a sword that can make driders? <laughs> Ooh, that's a fair point. Yeah, yeah. It's cursed. It's cursed. Get the rid of it. Which yes. is exactly why we don't want it. Which is exactly why someone yeah. should have cast Identify on it before you tried to use it. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Um, but uh, yeah, who would be leading? Ivy, like, I think. Mommy. Like I said, I'll I'll take point because I have. Oh, roll a. <laughs> we'll do a survival <laughs> check. I will help. Uh, so roll a survival check at advantage. Okay. Roll twice. It's it's advantage. You're okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. I can roll again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to because that was a one, baby. Yay! I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm just happy I'm not the only one that 19. rolls like shit. There we go. There we uh, go. So yeah, um, it takes it takes a few hours, but um, not long past noon, you do spot up ahead a very large opening to a cavern. Um, with that roll too, uh, you do recognize like claw marks on the outside. This is not a natural cavern. It was dug out. Um, mm. And with that, uh, I'll, I'll get, you're aware that some dragons do burrow. What kind? Blue dragons. Yeah. So... Are there any scales around the entrance? Roll an investigation check. Investigation. 
Ten, oh, I'm six. sorry. That's a 16. My apologies. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so, rattles, you do not find one. You do not find any scales. Um, the one thing that uh, Ivy does find um, right at the entrance, um, you find a few tufts of fur, um, a few smaller teeth. Go ahead and make a, a nature check for me. And actually, I'm going to have Taco roll for this one, too. 12. So, okay. 17. 17. Oh, wait, so you, plus? Mm-hmm. Uh, nature. 19. Okay. Uh, oh. Ivy, you're taking a look at this this fur and, and these uh, other evidence of a creature. You're not sure what it was. Uh... Taco, you walk up, and you've fought these things before. You know exactly what these are. These are the pieces of a knoll. Oh, shit. Mm. Were they eaten, or...? Pieces. Uh, with the roll like that, uh, this is just the shedding, or just normal wear and tear of their lives. It's about now that you also may remember dragons tend to have minions. And this was an adult blue dragon. Hmm. Okay. It was. The other thing that everyone starts to notice as you approach this cavern, it smells absolutely horrid. No, 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 no. The English language dictates you just said the word was. Why the fuck did you just say the word was? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Was um, um, well, the interesting thing that happens at this point, um, as you guys are like standing we'll at the cavern, next week. Um, <laughs> you're standing at the cavern, you do hear shifting rocks. Uh, back where you came from. You look over, and you hear two sets of foots. Of foots? Of feet. Of feetses. <laughs> of of footses. <laughs> feet -fees. You look over, and you see a very foxy man, Reynard, step out. And behind him, a cloaked figure. Who will you meet next time? So, um... No. I, I did this for a reason. Because, uh, a military foe, uh, uh... Oh. I forgot fox. his name. Military Fox. Uh, military Fox. When he joins us next session, Aww. Um. His character will be there. Ha <laughs> ha oh. oh, Very cool. Slid that in. Um, nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, also, I don't want to start a dragon fight like this. Right, man. So, right now. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the dragon's close. Mel is the dragon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but the good thing is we also do have the giveaways. So we can go ahead and start rolling the giveaways. Now, remember, for for the giveaways, you have to be in the chat um, and say that you are here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, uh, the first... The first one we will do is the, uh, well, we'll do the same as last time. We'll start with the $25 gift card to Misty Mountain Gaming. Um, while we're rolling for it, also don't remember, tomorrow uh, I'm going to be DMing, DMing my other campaign, uh, Mountain of Mystery, episode, I don't know, 46, 47 now? Jesus fuck. I'm playing that up for a hot minute. Um, yeah. But yeah. Misty Mountain Gaming, uh, again, has been uh, sponsoring Roll for Cake since, like, 
episode two, three? Three, I think. Three. Yeah, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they've been they've been along for the ride, man. And they have really cool shit. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Really, really cool <laughs> shit. Really cool. Really good. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Ah. That's just one good. So, uh, mm -hmm. for the $25 one, production, do we have that one? Max something. Um, Cormac, I see how you had difficulty. Uh, Cormac, you. That's as close as we're gonna get. Sorry, bud. <laughs> uh, but you get the twenty-five dollar off code for Mr. Yeah. Uh, Congratulations. Sweet. Uh, the next one is the $50 Mystery Mountain giveaway. Um, don't miss next week. We're going to be doing single $100 next session. Who knows we make bonus. more? Danger count. Why, why so difficult to names? Why you do this to me? Because I torture my players? That's fair. Uh, <laughs> that's totally fair. I'll, I'll give you that. Um, and, wow, see? This, this is why we're doing it this way. People respond right away. Uh, congratulations on winning the $50 giveaway. We have the final giveaway. Tacos dies. The, the dragon... <laughs> Nut stack set. Who? <laughs> two sets of dragon sacks full of dice. I swear to God, I'm gonna make stars. those. Yeah. <laughs> Lint and steel ninety four. Hell yeah. With a point two nine chance to win. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, uh, those are the giveaways that we have for tonight. Uh, oh, do we have one more? Oh, two different sets. Is it two, two different things? Well, fucking it is, mine. So it is two, two and then two. So two, oh, two and, and two. then two. I gotcha. So we have oh, one we going more. Big, baby. We're going for it. Fuck yeah. Let's go. So flip steel gets two. Good. Thank you, Jen. And for the final winner, dun, dun, dun. 68 El Camino. That tracks. One year off. Sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am a child sometimes. I apologize. Um, but congratulations to all the winners of the night. Um, like I said, remember, er, um, we'll announce as soon as we know the next session of Roll for Cake, and we will have the $100 Misty Mountain giveaway. Or more. Or more. Or mo That's right. Don't they worry about it. They might give us more. Or more. They might. If, if people you guys keep use liking their code, shit. Yeah, if you use coupon right. code CAKE, it'll show that, That's you fine. know, we're... Do not we're... forget... Uh, the coupon code CAKE for 15% off, right? Yeah. yeah, 15. Not 155, like I said earlier in the stream. Um, down below. Yep. Okay. You can click the panel down below and you can get to Misty Mountain Game. Also, well, for everybody that misses yeah. episodes, mm -hmm. uh, just reminding if you missed the Toothy Butthole earlier, and need to rewatch. VODs are available on YouTube. And Tannis, what is your YouTube? Crips and Cryptids. We changed the name. Um, but we should have a link in there ah. as well. Yeah, wonderful, beautiful. And then also follow everybody on TikTok if you don't already. If you don't already, why are you here? Um, fucking do it. I'm live on uh, TikTok. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, oh, my bad. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's my bad. I said a lot of off the wall shit tonight. <laughs> you off the wall? Never. No. Come on. Fucking talking to, to a goddess like that? Jesus fuck. She's not a goddess. She's a snail trail. She quite I don't know what literally you're talking is. About. Ouch. <laughs> Um, but, yep, uh, we appreciate everybody watching, everybody hanging out, and everybody enjoying the show. Uh, all the players, thank you for playing. You all are wonderful people, and you are very kind to let me absolutely fuck with you. Um, <laughs> so, Taco, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Sort of. I don't want to talk to uh, you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> are we still friends? Ow. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I suppose that I'm going to watch Taco make Tannis cry. Yay! <laughs> Have a great it's time, everybody. Fun. <laughs>